Hi everybody, welcome to another episode of Dash of Danita. For today's episode, I'm really excited because the person who's guesting is not only a famous actress, famous TV host, she um, was also first runner up of uh, Miss Universe 1999. But more than that, uh, she's not just a friend to me, but almost like a family member, her and her husband. Uh, I'll introduce her now. Please welcome Miss Miriam Kiambao Roberto. Yay! <laughs> Miriam, thank you so much Hello. for inviting me into your home. And thank you also. What have we prepared today? Oh, well, you tell me because somebody... <laughs> I don't know what it is about all my guests, but they always give me the hardest things. They think it's easy or simple, <laughs> pero hindi nila alam na ang daming ingredients. I think this is the most number of ingredients in all of my recipes so far for Dash of Danita. Oh, don't feel guilty, don't feel guilty. <laughs> <laughs> so what is it? Well, I asked for pinakbet because it's one of my favorite dishes to make. Ah, so pinakbet has a bagoong. And I wonder why she's craving bagoong. It's not because she's hungry, because she looks a little bit full, no? <laughs> but she's not full because she's... I'm pregnant! <laughs> especially the news na to. Can you please tell them a little bit why? Well, this is special. In fact, we call this our miracle baby mm. because we've been praying for this for four years now. Yes. And uh, two years ago, we tried to do IVF, but mm. it failed. And so, sabi namin, baka namang gusto ni Lord natural na. So, mm. we've been trying, trying, wala pa rin. And then around um, April, May this year, my husband says, if you're not yet pregnant by your birthday, which is in May, mm. perhaps that's a sign that God will bless us with a child through adoption okay. or through IVF. So by June, I wasn't pregnant yet. So we're like, okay, maybe I've we've, we've resigned now. Okay, maybe adoption or IVF. Mm. So we tried to do IVF, but then I was found out to have a lump on my breast and suspected for malignancy. Oh. So if I were if I were positive to have cancer, I cannot be pregnant. So I had to do biopsy. It's a long story. Oh, okay, lang yeah. mga ko na now. Yeah, okay. But. I was found out to have this lump that needed to be biopsied to see if it were really malignant. So we had to postpone our schedule for harvesting of my eggs mm -hmm. until we find out the results. Thank God it was negative. Yay! But it was during the week when we were waiting for the results that we were supposed to have the egg extraction but it didn't push through. So when we found out that it was indeed negative, sabi namin, okay, let's push through in July. Mm -hmm. Usually when we go for IVF, we have to wait for my period. And I go there on the second day so that they will do an ultrasound to see the viability of my eggs before they schedule a harvest mm -hmm. two weeks later. Mm -hmm. But my period never came. On the third oh. day, <laughs> what? yeah. Whoa. So on, on my third day of my missed period, I said, I wonder if I'm pregnant because three days now. So I take a pregnancy test, it's negative. Oh, so okay. So I'm like, okay, I wonder what's happening. I text my ob -gyne. She says, sabi ko, Doc, I miss my period. I'm not pregnant. What do I do? Sabi niya, Nako, baka you're perimenopausal na. And I'm like, Doc, I'm only 43. <laughs> Doc naman. Sabi, oo, oh, oh, it can start as early as 10 years before. Oh my gosh, tinaw <laughs> ko na. I really, and I remember starting this year, I can't time my ovulation, my schedule of my period. So you're usually on schedule. I'm usually on okay. schedule, but this year, it's really more erratic now. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, oh no, Lord, paano kami mag-IVF? I'm perimenopausal. I don't know when it's gonna come. So I, we, I wait a week later, wala pa rin. I text my, my IVF doctor. Sabi ko, Doc, when do I know when I go to you? Because I'm negative for pregnancy and I still don't have my period. Sabi niya, why don't you take this medicine? In one week, you should bleed. Mm. And RD, my husband, says, before you take that medicine, why don't you take a pregnancy test? Mm. So on the 15th day of my missed period, I had the medicine in, uh, in oh hand, my gosh. but I have to take the pregnancy test out of submission to my husband. So I take the test. One line comes out, the second line comes out, <laughs> and I come out of the bathroom saying, Babe, we're pregnant! <laughs> so 
and we're there in the bedroom, you know, jumping up and down. We're so kilig. I've been praying about it for a long exactly. time. Kaya so hindi so siguro na ano na mga tao na kung gaano ka special itong baby na to yeah. or like why we're so emotional about it. Because yeah. even you said to me several times, you please continue to pray for yeah. me. Ganyan. So, ayun, so I didn't know na all natural din pala to. And you know, going through IVF is a really difficult process. No, it's so painful I, I hear. So and expensive. Yes, yes. <laughs> okay, so now we're going to start um, satisfying her craving for Yay! bagoong. And normally um, you, you're you're very fortunate today because I'm from Pangasinan and you know that uh, pinakbet or pakbet is from Pangasinan. Yeah. So this is like the ultimate specialty na, na magagawa ko because this is my ultimate favorite of my mom's. Oh. Normally I use bagoong isda, mm -hmm. but because some people find the smell a little bit more repulsive, mm -hmm. um, and I thought, okay, she's pregnant. I'm sure she's gonna want. <laughs> Thank like, you for the consideration. Shrimp. So I, I I switched it to that. Okay. So there's nothing really special, special or like with a twist. Nagagawin ko dito because I wanted to stick to the original, but I was planning to bring truffle oil to try it to mm -hmm. see if it would complement the flavors and my signature topping, which is cottage cheese, because um, the Cavett side or my dad's side of the family, whenever we would eat pinakbet, um, ayon niya yung taste. So what he would do, he would put cottage cheese on everything. But since she doesn't eat dairy, mm, I'm intolerant to dairy. Yeah, so mm -hmm. we we decided to take that out and just stick to the original, but. Uh, ang level up ko dito is the cuts and of course um, the presentation. So I hope you guys uh, like this. Let's see what happens. Okay, so we're gonna start. We're gonna heat up the pan, mm -hmm. the casserole pan. What we did already is we, uh, Miriam was the one who uh, deep fried the pork in canola oil, and then we also have a little bit of crab meat. Uh, no, sorry, lobster. We have lobster. Uh, we've got some shrimp over there, and then we have fresh lapu lapu. And then we have the rest of our vegetables. Diba? Social na social. Ang yes. ingredients ng pinakbet ko. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. So we have um, some squash. We have green beans, red and white onion, and garlic. Mm -hmm. We don't actually have to like mince the garlic. We can just put them in whole. Okay. Let's take some of the oil from the frying. Okay. And then we'll take our sibuyas and bawang. Here. Maybe start with the bawang. And if you'll notice, right, um, everything is prepped first. We call this mise en place. Yes. M-I-S-E-E-N-P-L-A-C-E. -E -E. That means uh, that everything is prepared ahead of time mm -hmm. so that when it's time to cook, walang masusunog or something na pagkain kasi nakaready na siya. Mm -hmm. Kasi sometimes na overcook yung mga ibang bagay pag hindi nakaready eh. So... Which is nangyayari sa akin minsan. <laughs> oh, yeah, it happens to all of us. Yeah. Okay. So, just wait for it to get a little aromatic. I didn't mince them because if you look at all the cuts of the vegetables right here, right? They're, they're all chunky. Yes, and so you kind of want uniform textures or uniform cuts so that one doesn't get overcooked before the other. Tip number one. Wow. <laughs> do you cook at home? Yeah, I do. Um, we eat a lot of pasta. <laughs> oh. And then a lot of chicken also. Bake some bake or uh, cook chicken and fish also. Are you uh, like, uh, you said you're a flexitarian, right? Yeah, flexitarian. I mean, at home we don't serve too much of pork mm -hmm. but sometimes we serve bacon like once a week especially on Sundays when there was a time when we had our Sunday morning bacon with sourdough bread wow and uh, eggs that was our breakfast with pesto and cheese set up does Artie cook he cooks a mean pancake that's all he knows how to cook <laughs> pero masarap Okay, so what we want to do is, of course, you have to put the garlic and onion just to give everything else its flavor. Mm -hmm. um, but we also want to make sure that we place the ingredients in the pan that are going to cook, take the longest to cook. Mm -hmm. So the 
squash or calabaza is quite thick. We gotta throw that in there. I heard just recently <laughs> you were supposed to give um, your other son, yeah, see Joshua, because uh, she has a, a son from uh, Artie has a, an adopted son named Joshua, right? Yeah, and then his so, first marriage. Yes, mm -hmm. and um, you guys were supposed to split a burger, but because somebody was super hungry, <laughs> she kept it for herself. I was craving for a burger. That was my first ever craving. It's just a few weeks ago, and I really felt like this deep desire to really have a burger. I don't normally have a burger, you know. It's called pregnancy. <laughs> so I recognized that maybe this is what they call a craving. So I said, well, since I'm on the road and I can easily drive through, you know, one of the burger fast food chains, mm -hmm. then I can I can easily pass by. So, dumaan ako ng McDo, I ordered a Big Mac. Wow! And I thought, Are you sh super conservative pa naman to, di ba? <laughs> I'm not conservative. Super uh, health, conscious. I try to be healthy. Health conscious. So, and I guess the, the baby really needed some protein. Yes, so, so, kinain yes. ko yung kalahating Big Mac kasi malaki naman, di ba? Mm -hmm. As I was nearing the house, sabi ko, eh, hati ko to, tatabi ko kay Joshua yung isa. Pero talagang gustong gusto ko talaga siyang kainin. Tapos sabi ko, nagigilty pa ako kasi itatabi ko sana kay Joshua, uh, di ba? Sabi ko, Lord, gusto ko talaga siyang ubusin. Pwede ba akin na lang to? Tapos feeling ko sabi niya, oh sige, go ahead. Di kinain ko talaga. And I made sure wala talagang matitira pagdating ko sa bahay. You know what? I'm sure Joshua forgive you. <laughs> Josh is a good kid. Really. <laughs> Buti na lang pala, when I got home, I learned that our neighbor treated all the kids, including Joshua, to Jollibee Burger. Ay, sakto. So he had na his burger. Sakto. <laughs> um, Ampalaya is like, it's got uh, anti-cancer uh, properties. Awesome. What we did is we added salt. I'm sure you, you know this already because you eat a lot, but I mean a lot of pinakmet. <laughs> but, no, um, but I didn't, I didn't know about the salt trick. Really? Mm. So because uh, Ampalaya is very bitter, mm. um, I was gonna say katulad ko noon. Wow! Ah, pero ngayon hindi ka na bitter. Hindi <laughs> na, hindi na. Better na. Better than bitter. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so we added a lot of salt and then we let it sit for about 30 minutes, 45 minutes, and then we rinsed it. So okay. then now, medyo lumambot na nga yung, ano, yung ampalaya. Now, we're gonna add the eggplant and kamatis. Okay, so now we can add some water. Would you like to do the honors? Are we gonna finish the whole panel? Um, let's see. I think that's. Let's see what happens with that. How much water do you want? All of it. Mm. Set up number go on. That's it, or you want more? Um, I think this is good. We're gonna let it reduce. So we let it simmer a little bit. So now we're gonna heat up our shrimp. Take a little bit of the, the oil. So one of my, my uh, tips for making pinakbet, which I didn't do today, mm. is that you know you get the shells of all of your, like your shrimp, your mm -hmm. crustaceans, crustaceans, the lobster, and then you make a stock out of it. It's very, very simple. I know it sounds intimidating, but what you do is you just get some water I mean, you could put aromatics inside, uh, but not really. You don't need that. You just add a little bit of water and then you let it boil or simmer for about um, 15, 20 minutes and mm -hmm. then you uh, strain it, basically take out all the shells. And so what's left of the water is concentrated flavor of the ocean. Add the water of the shrimp. I think this is good now. Eggplants are soft. Okay, sige, kain na tayo. <laughs> Since you can't eat rice, bahala ka sa buhay mo. <laughs> Ay, lalamunin ko ng mga kalabasa ito. Akin na to talaga. O, magtira ka naman ng isang kalabasa sa akin, ha? O, huwag kang mag-alala. <laughs> Someone has done it for me, I'll do it for you. Pero isa lang, ha? <laughs> Alright. So while we make you guys jealous of my lovely cooking yummy, yummy. skills, uh, I want to thank you all for watching. 
And I hope that if you like this recipe and are willing to try it, why don't you like um, in the comment sections be below and maybe give me some suggestions or maybe better tips on how I could have done this. Yes, because it was very rushed. <laughs> but thank you so much. And we yeah. also hope that uh, no, parang you come back for another episode of Dash of Danita. What do you think? Shut up! Of course. I love it. Why wouldn't it be? I love it. Mm. So, lasang lasa yung uh, lasang lasa yung mix ng bagoong. Mm. Tamang tama lang hindi siya super alat. Mm -hmm. Tsaka yung nasa sense ko yung ano ha yung shrimp stock natin kanina. Ha? Yes. Ganda, it really adds flavor. Wow, galing, ang galing. Mm. Sabi ko to eh, medyo mm -hmm. princess ato ng bahay eh. Mm. Actually, queen ng bahay. So, long live the queen, people. Hell to the queen. Hello, <laughs> Sorry. Hello to the queen. <laughs> All right, thank you guys for watching Dash of Danita. We hope to see you guys again soon. Bye.